Hello everybody and today we're going to be presenting you this little gadget here. So if you have been trawling around the net looking for a solution of how to unlock your phone once you've tried more than 10 times and your phone now has zero tries left then this is it. This little device here is uh, sandwiched between the phone and the SIM and what you end up with is the capacity to be able to use any SIM on a phone that's got uh, zero tries left. Now in this example we're um, going to be booting up this phone which is with T-Mobile and the idea is uh, I'm going to show you that it just connects up to T-Mobile and that it's it's locked uh, to that one network and then we're going to uh, use this adapter and boot up the phone and uh, insert a new SIM and uh, we will basically see that you will get connected and, and so on and so on so this is just to prove that you know it works etc this is a really hard to find solution there's the uh, T-Mobile uh, logo uh, for the branding of the phone it's uh, obviously there at the bottom too and we're just waiting for it to boot up and what we have here already is a 3G uh, signal. Unfortunately, it's on the blue background that makes it a little bit uh, dark to see. And uh, we have uh, just installed an application. I just tested it and uh, we say OK. And what we do now is just showing you there. It's connected to T Mobile on the T Mobile network and it's on a 3G thing. Now just to show you a little bit more, we can go into the, um, bear with me, we can go into the options and, oops, oops, we can go into the options and the spanner, we go into device, on older models you don't have this device menu and you go over to advanced system settings and SIM card and uh, what we do then is on the keyboard we type in M E P D and we will see oh, let's do that again M E P D there you go and um, we will see that the screen changes into this list and where it says network is active if it's active that means the phone is locked if it's disabled that means it's already unlocked so this phone uh, if I tell it to um, I can force it to M E P Alt 2 uh, to get it to ask me for a unlock code. Now, fair enough, we haven't taken this phone to the brink of zero. Uh, the bottom line is that it still has 10 chances left, but uh, we've done this test before with zeros and tens. But what we're showing you here is that the phone is you know, really locked and we know that if we put a SIM in, uh, it will basically reject it. Um, and it will ask you for a unlock code and it won't let you use it. So, how does it work? So there's your T-Mobile. This, by the way, is a BlackBerry Bold 9780 that we're doing the test with. Now, all about the adapter. So, it has a tiny little chip on the corner. So, if you look at your SIM design, you, the corner that's shaven off, it's, it's identically the same size. However, if we put the adapter underneath the SIM card, we find that, um, um, you know, there's, there's a no space for the chip when we slide it in it's going to crush it so what you need to do is you need to chop out a section from the sim card you're going to use and uh, here's one I prepared earlier as they say now in this particular one I used a Stanley knife to make the cut uh, into the sim card and you have to be careful because if you've got a sim card that's got a micro sim uh, element to it where you can pop out the actual micro sim out of your normal sim card size then when you're wiggling with a knife and you're sort of pushing against it you could accidentally push your sim micro sim out so um, hold on to it and uh, hold it you know with good grip but afterwards I discovered that actually I've done some other ones with a hole puncher and you just get the hole puncher you put the thing in and you can just see where more or less you're aligned and you chop and it ends up doing a beautiful curved cut and it's just perfect for um, you know uh, cutting out of the plastic uh, without sort of using a knife. I found this uh, little bit of plastic actually quite hard to go through. But uh, also uh, it destroyed a little bit of information printed on the uh, chip. So this little number, if you want to write it down, take a picture of it before you cut it out or whatever, 
then go ahead and do so. So after doing that little edit, the idea is that you then, uh, there's a little adhesive strip here that we would peel away. I'm not gonna use it now. It's gonna make it a little bit more tricky to put it in, but it just means that it just uh, stays stays new. So I'm going to, um, um, you would normally take that off and then that will give you a little bit of uh, sticky contact between the two. Uh, and as you slide it in, they should sort of stay together. But, you know, quite often it doesn't really sort of work out that way. It's one of those little things that you have to do uh, by fidgeting around. So I've sandwiched it um, like so. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually put the this card in first. And generally I've found that sometimes, but it's a bit of potluck. Sometimes I get a, a clean break where it just does it beautifully. And some other times uh, it becomes a little bit awkward. As you can see there... Uh, I've nearly done it. I'm just pushing it up again to sort of, there you go, to slide it into place. Now, um, there you go. So quite a clean insertion there. We've got no sort of funny bits here. It seems to be straight. Uh, the hole for the uh, little chip is perfect. The little cut out there. As you can see, it doesn't really bulge out at all. It was really easy to put in. Obviously, other Blackberries, I just happen to have one here have uh, got different mechanisms for inserting the SIM card which make it even easier than these uh, slide-in ones uh, but you know all of it uh, all of it works as long as you can um, obviously cut the corner of your uh, chip don't you know do the sacrifice don't put your SIM in there otherwise it would really arc up uh, you, you know your battery would just be incorrect the whole thing uh, you know, you could damage your, your adapter. So uh, do it right, make the cutout and put it in there. Now, um, we're going to boot this up. And in the good tradition of a BlackBerry phone, it's going to take forever. Um, I think they win an award really for yet in 2010 and uh, creating phones that take sort of three or four minutes to boot up. So uh, we just put it on charge because I know that the battery is low um, so I don't want to sort of accidentally switch off on me whilst I'm doing this so the adapter we distribute worldwide uh, we operate a policy that if for some reason it sh you know should it not work or you just you know something's not right uh, then we just need you to return it back to us and no quibble no questions uh, the you know we'll give you a refund we accept PayPal uh, obviously if you pay by PayPal you can raise a dispute should you have any problem with us but that's really never going to happen we're at the other end of email uh, all the time answering emails really quickly um, and secondly we've uh, had uh, no failure reports yet of this uh, sim working with networks across from uh, Saudi Arabia to uh, uh, Trinidad to USA to South Africa, um, Botswana. This this week, an order from Botswana came in. Uh, you know, and again uh, on these new territories that you never know. Maybe there could be something peculiar about the network in a particular zone. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we try to be uh, trustworthy in the sense that if you have any problems, you know it's no issue for us you just need to send it back we just like the sim to return back to us in theory you could be out of pocket by uh, a little bit of money to post this tiny little sim adapter through so you, you know that that's the worst case scenario you lose out on uh, what it will cost you to send us back the sim but ultimately all the uh, money you paid for it will be refunded to you this is just a little a tip that we like to point out uh, in case you're uncertain of what happens if things go wrong. Um, so uh, you've seen the modification that it uh, takes. It will come in one of these little um, anti-static uh, bags. Here is the one I've just ripped open to take this one out to show you. Um, and uh, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So we know that the phone still thinks it's T-Mobile. I mean, definitely. We haven't changed it. We haven't unlocked it. It should now reject this SIM that we've put in and ask us maybe for a non-lock code. Um, now, the funny thing is, with the adapter in place, uh, it turns out that, yeah, the phone will actually connect. In this case, I've put in a GIFGAF SIM, so it will connect to um, the O2 uh, GIFGAF uh, use the same aerials as O2 in the UK. So it will actually connect to the uh, O2 uh, aerials and um, it will think that it's roaming. Right. And then you're going to be wondering, oh, my God, and what if I make a call, you know, 
am I going to get charged triple? You know, no, it's just a false alarm. What's happening here is that the phone knows that um, it's, uh, you know, definitely, um, let me, there you go. There's a question here about roaming already. Why? Um, so, you know, it obviously questions you if you're abroad. Uh, you know, if you're going to be doing any sort of data roaming because it can be expensive. So the phone thinks it's T-Mobile, yet, um, I'll show you in a second, it's connected 3G, but I'll show you the network name after I've answered this question uh, here. But, you know, obviously it's actually patched in to O2. And for that reason, uh, because it doesn't, you know, O2 does not equal the original network T-Mobile, then the phone definitely just assumes I've got to switch on this little triangle to say that I'm outside the country sort of doing roaming because I'm not connected to my home network. Now, this means it's basically a false alarm. You're not going to get charged anything extra for your calls or anything like that. There is no roaming fees uh, applied at all. It's just the way the adapter works and it's fooling things and the phone still thinks that it is what it is and it's connected to a different network. So therefore it assumes it's roaming. Uh, and all this is is just a, a pretty message. So we're going to accept uh, in theory that we allow the phone to roam uh, in the uh, UK and uh, we say okay we agree to the date date time thing and there we have um bear with me um uh, let's see if i can just get a contrast or something like that ah, it's terrible isn't it so there we have a gif gaf network symbol bear with me if i can just get into a uh menu okay there you go that's a little bit better so there you can see o2 uk the little triangle to say roaming and the word gif gaf connected 3G and the bars and the signals. The phone has connected and there you can see that it's now connected to O2 uh, gif gaf. And uh, if I even just uh, quickly try to make a call uh, to speaking clock in the UK and see if I can put that on speaker. There you go. 01 and, 50 seconds. and there you go. It's on O2 network. Uh, roaming, stroke, making a call. La di da, la di da, la di da. It's, uh, there you go. My balance is so much now. So, the proof. 9780, this is what this test is on. Uh, we've uh, sent out SIMs for um, all models, basically. Uh, we are only concerned that. There might be some super local areas or countries we don't you know don't know where yet that this might not work but um be assured that we you know give you a refund but for that reason at the moment we've got a 100 percent success rate um and it also does the internet the data services uh, actually i nearly forgot to mention something quite important about that so when you change your phone uh to a different network it will obviously um want to um, connect uh, its data uh, connection still to the original network. In other words, this is still trying to talk to T-Mobile to achieve internet connection. These settings are called the APN settings. Every BlackBerry has uh, got one. You go into the uh, options and you go into uh, the, let me just remind myself, device and advanced settings and you go into uh, TCP IP. Okay, there you go. So when you um, when you check these settings, 99% of the time, they will be blank, right? But because I've changed from uh, T-Mobile and I'm using the uh, GiveCaf SIM, um, I've had to manually, and you can just see here, APN, and you can find these settings for your internet company. You just have to Google APN settings for BlackBerry on T-Mobile, on, you know, 3Network, on Vodafone, whoever you're with, okay? Just uh, Google them and you'll find that they will tell you what the APN name is. They will tell you that it will require a username and password. Whoops, Let's see if we can get that back. And they will give you the uh, username credentials you should be using and they will be also telling you the password that you should be using. Um, this is all publicly known info. There's no sort of top secret password. In this case for GIFCAF, the password is password. Um, and uh, you just have to tick on enable. 
these areas become active you type in the APN name you type in the username you type in the password oh yeah and you're ticking obviously that it should use these credentials with authentication enabled and uh, and, and that's it you get patched into your different uh, network that you're using even when you go abroad sometimes you have to uh, change these settings if you don't get internet properly you have to find out who you're connected to and just tweak those settings to their um, their, their credentials those APN settings are a bit like your modem at home that connects itself to the internet with your username and password and that's exactly the same thing this is basically connecting itself with credentials um, onto the network so there you go that's uh, one final final point there on a little tweak on uh, that you you might need to do to get the internet settings going but this is something you have to do pretty much on every phone even if you unlock it normally so um, if you've unlocked it and uh, you're not wondering, you're wondering why your net's not working, then check these guys uh, out. Um, okay, so there you go. We distribute worldwide. We uh, deliver with a uh, trackable uh, service, postage service, uh, airmail, and really it's not super duper DHL express service in two and a half days. It's a little bit of an overkill. It would cost quite a lot more to uh, distribute the SIM. Uh, it's just using ordinary uh, mail, air mail service uh, with a sign for tracking option on it. And with that, I, we hope we expect it for it to, you, to get to you safely. We'll put the tracking details on your PayPal payment so you can see that we've done it. You can see that it's uh, en route to you, as one could say, and uh, in what, what position it's at. If it's left the country here in the UK and it's nearly with you. If you're in the UK, then Royal Mail first class recorded delivery uh, to your door uh, as soon, basically the next day. We tend to ship uh, the next day on all orders by um, and any orders that come in through the weekend will obviously um, ship out on, on the first day of the week on Monday. So, um, very hard to find solution. You will find pages and pages and pages and pages trawling uh, through the net with nobody knowing how to answer the question, how do you get rid of or uh, how do you bypass the zero tries left on a BlackBerry phone? And ladies and gents, there you have it. Um, the magic little SIM adapter, which is at the moment still inserted in there, so let's pop it out. And there you go. This is the little guy that will solve your day, that will make your handset useful again. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you find this video super useful. If you've been looking for this, then the bonus, you've hit the jackpot. Um, and uh, do give us a thumbs up. The link for where you can buy the adapter is uh, on the description on this YouTube video. Just uh, check it out and uh, click on it and we'll be at the other end uh, waiting to talk to you. We've got an online chat system if you've got any questions or anything like that and you can just basically uh, talk to us through there. Um, thank you very much for watching and take care.